Hey guys, before this video starts, I would just like to tell you, remember to check out our website, uh, surspace.blog or spaceideasrevolutionized.home.blog. Um, there will be more posts coming soon. Hey guys, Space Ideas Revolutionized here today. I'm Raghav Mehta, and today we'll be talking about how rockets work. Um, I just posted this on the website, and we'll be talking about it today. So, well, first, before we look at this picture, we have to understand what a rocket is, and the parts of a rocket. A rocket is a spacecraft, missile, aircraft, or anything which obtains thrust from a rocket engine. Next, we have the payload. The payload is the part of the rocket which is bringing something to space. It can be astronauts, artificial satellites, or cargo. Then comes fuel. Our rockets need fuel to operate. The fuel is usually made up of liquid hydrogen. Rockets also need oxygen. They need oxygen because the liquid, because, because a rocket will be operating in an airless environment. The rocket has so-called skin. It's a TPS, or the Thermal protect Protection System. It protects the rocket from extreme heat caused by air friction. It also helps keep a cool environment inside the rocket. Everything in the body of the rocket is a propulsion, propulsion system, excluding the payload. The propuls propulsion system includes everything needed to lift the rocket off of the ground. Fuel, the frame, the oxidizer, the pumps, the fins, and finally the nozzle. So, what is a pump? The pumps are pumps, obviously, which, which, um, okay, I'm about to say pumps a lot of times. So, what are pumps? Pumps pump the fuel and the oxygen to the combustion cha chamber. And next, we have a fin. The fin helps helps stabilize the rocket and helps airflow. Nozzle. It's basically the rocket engine, um, contains the throat and the combustion sh chamber. We'll be talking about that, like, right now. Combustion chamber. What is a co combustion chamber? Com the combustion chamber combines the fuel and oxygen to make pressurized gas. Throat. Um, throat is where the pressurized gas reaches the speed of sound, which is 343 um, meters per second. The nozzle, where the pressurized gas leaves the rocket at speeds higher than speed of sound because of the, of its bell shape. Um, yeah, horrible drawing right there. It's that's supposed to look like a bell, but like you know. Um, yeah, and anything else I did not mention, I'll explain it here. So, up here is the payload, and this is a nose cone. Um, fuel, we got liquid hydrogen, and, um, I know this is a very bad drawing. I mean, like, my handwriting is, like, um, pretty bad. Um, yeah, so here we got oxygen, obviously. Fuel, fuel is usually made up of liquid hydrogen. Uh, you need oxygen, like I said, to operate in an airless environment. And then the fuel goes to the fuel pump, and then it pumps the fuel into the combustion chamber. Here you have the start chamber. It supplies pressurized gas to power up. Now here you have the power turbine. It powers both the pumps. Down here you have the oxygen pump. It pumps oxygen to the combustion chamber. And um, this is a mixing chamber where like fuel plus oxygen come together. And then um, from the um, mixing chamber it goes over to the... Th um, What's this? It's called the combustion chamber. So, uh, and where the what happens in the combustion chamber? It um uses the fuel and the oxygen to create pressurized gas. And then at the throat, because of how how high speeds the pressurized gas is already going at, it reaches the speed of sound at the throat. And because of the bell shape, um bell shape, the pressurized gas leaves the rocket um faster than the speed of sound. And um. Over here, you have the turbine exhaust in purple. Um, it's the exhaust of the turbine discharge to environment. So, yeah, that's basically um, um, how a rocket works. Um, please tell me in the comments if I forgot anything, if I did anything wrong. And remember to check out our website and subscribe, like, and guys, thanks for watching. I uh, hope you guys learned something. Bye.